everyone so this is um i'm doing the box i have got this lovely hard box from uh, one of the craft store and i'm going to decorate this one with the uh, resin on the top and i'll fill some resin inside as well but for the preparation first i'm going to do prepare the top for the resin because when i fill the resin inside i still um oh i just want to get it done to be honest so when i after doing this bit i'll carry on with i can carry on with this one so what i done i've got acrylic paint here so i'm using black paint on the top oh, i'm going to go for um I'm going for um, beach pour on the top. So I'm just put this um, acrylic to um, to seal the wood. You can use the MDF sealer to seal the wood before you use. It's just like a preparation because this this is very thin MDF so it does need uh, some kind of um, preparation sealing before we pour resin on the top so I'll probably do two layers of the I mean two coats of the acrylic paint so once this dark dry, I will go for another one. So you can see the first coat is done and I do, as soon as this dry, I'm going to put the second one quickly as well. So don't need to do two coats if you don't want to i just prefer to be have it sealed properly just when you use the heat gun you don't want to burn your wood or your resin so yeah so i'll wait for until it dry and i do another one so it has dry so I'm going to go for another coat so this time it's not going I don't need too much because it got covered the first time properly so just going like this It's got colored properly. Now I'll let it dry and then I'll put sand once it's dry on one side and then I'm going to wait tomorrow to do my another step. So that's it. As you can see it's dry. So now the next step I'm going to put um, um, scent so got my resin ready the resin I am using is for our demolding resin from Jediction and I have already mixed the resin here and I'm going just going for just like this After doing this, I'm going to put the tape all over because this is quite thicken up the resin, so I'm not worried it's going to drop. But tomorrow, I'll put the tape all around.
press it and put the sound. Just going to drop it like this. Okay, so I'm going to leave it now and I'll do the next step tomorrow. So it's next day. I'm just going to take the sand off and you can see it's nicely the sand stuck there. Now what I'm going to do, I want to um, colour this one black because I want a black sand there. So I'm going to paint it, just get the excess sand out. You can see on the sides nicely stuck there as well. So let's get this one done got my black acrylic here and I'm just going to colour this sand not taking too much so don't need it just going to colour just like this So, it's lovely black sand there and good texture as well. So, I'm going to let it dry and uh, then I'm going to put some rays in there, different color, maybe blue or something tomorrow. Then I will um, cover the, this one with the tap so then I can do my waves on the top. So, I'll see you tomorrow then so the next day i actually forgot to turn the camera on when i did this step i decided to put some glitter so what i did first um i have used the glue brushed the glue on the top there and put some glitter on it so as you can see this is dry now i'm going to use um um, I'm going to add the um, resin inside so just get something so I'm going to pour inside the resin but first um, I want to add uh, my car I'm using purple from j -Diction purple mica I don't think so I'll open this one to open that I don't want this one um don't want it too much opaque so what I'm going to do I'm going to add just a tiny bit it's a lovely spoon comes with the mica um, so I'm just going to add, just uh, as usual, I'm using, I forgot to tell you what resin I'm using. I'm using this one is a Jediction resin I'm using. 
so it's i already mixed that and adding mica now just adding this much and see how it goes i don't want too much old bark so to make sure it's not too much old bark just a little bit more i'm going to add yeah i need a tiny bit more just half of the spoon i got there and then mix it so that's it now just open this one and just going to add on all of those containers and spread it Red. If I need more on the side, I am um, all over. I'll use the varnish and probably acrylic paint on it, pearl color. Heat gun. Pop the bubbles. So that's it. Now I'm going to let it dry. It's for our devolving red resin. So. But I'll let it dry for a little bit. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll do the next step. The tap I'll put all around and do my next step. So that's how it looks. That's how it looks inside. So that's what done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the tip all around before I pour um raisin uh, on the top so going just like just going like this so it gets um cover just then on the sides so make sure it, in the box gets um, just like that as you can see it's in a line so if any drips it drops on that top So yeah, it's done now. So um, now it's time to put those in I'm using. So as usual, I am 
using J-Diction resin. So, as you can see, my resin is ready. So, I'm just using the purple one. Just going to have a very much I need resin. I think that should be enough just to tie a little bit more. And let's get my colorful maker out. So uh, using it should be enough this much. So using the uh, same mica what I use inside the purple Jediction mica powder. a little bit more resin just in case if I need more make sure mixed then I'm using the white pigment paste for um, waves so we're just going to add should be enough so, this much pigment paste You don't need too much pigment paste otherwise you won't get proper waves so just remember you use what I need what you need so this is perfect one now but now we have to wait for make waves but what I do first I'm just going to pull this one now first this just using one color and just spread over
just going on right now until this one is taken up because if I need less ink in my rail, I have to wait. So, um, the resin started warming up, so I'm going to um, add uh, waves now. So let me just, it started warming up, just going over there, like this, and just going to use this, and move it. See how nicely the waves, the lessing there. Now I'm just going over this one to cover this bit. So I'm going to drop white resin by uh, that's it. Uh, that's enough. Yeah, so that's it. And what I do. I'm going to put just a, just a tiny rail there that's it and use my heat gun again That's it. You can see a little wave there as well. And I'm just going to use my uh, torch, just a tiny bit. It's any bubble there. I'm not going to heat too much because I don't want it to burn. That's it. And that's it and I'll wait tomorrow and I'll do my second wave tomorrow. I can see lovely um, the glitter part is shining through. So we do the next wave tomorrow. So now our uh, next day I'm just going to see lovely sparkle in this one maybe not able to see on the camera i don't know it's catching or not but yeah this is how it looks now lovely lacing there <clears throat> and beautiful um the purplish money cut there as well so i'm going to do another wave but before doing the wave i want to add one shell there the long one i got from aliexpress so I'm going to put that one with the clear resin. So all my resin is ready. I'm using the same resin I did for my first layer. This one, Jellyfish resin. And I have got white mix here for the wave as well. And I waited quite a long time, around um, 50 minutes. And it started getting thickened up, so it should be all right for the wave so let me just put this first just going to put it just like that yeah we look nice putting this way I'm just trying <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll just put it there Putting the clear resin just a tiny bit so it can stick with the 
there yep that's it so for clear what i do i just want to go to make my view just making sure that's it and then spread clear resin there so when you have resin there, it nicely gives less thing when you use your um, heat gun. I'm not putting too much resin because I know we're going to get rested on our top enough to spread. So that's it. I don't worry too much about it because when I put this um, my um, make a wave and use my um, blowtorch, not the blowtorch, sorry, the heat gun, it will it will cover, it will move. It is so I won't, I won't be worried too much about it. So that's it, and then pull my wheel. I just have to make sure it's going on a line of how I done my. Just making sure it's on a yeah, it is where my clear resin is. So I said I'm not putting too much because I don't want. Too much less so got my heat done and doing the same thing again just moving to do one, go one more time just put a little bit more resin um the white resin and just down my torch gun to get rid of if any bubbles left we can see lovely lacing there just going quickly that's it and the end what I'm going to do I'm going to make just the line I'm not using torch gun but I just want to proper clear way to show my wave so i'm just going put just like this so 
you can see how beautiful it looks and i'll show you the less in close look to it and tomorrow i'll take the tip off once it's dry so we see tomorrow i'll show you the uh, close look anyway for the lovely lessing got there I'll take the tape off now. So I have to heat a little bit because you can see um, the resin gone here. So if you give a little hit, it comes off easily. Okay. So this is how it looks. You can use a little heat gun and scrap those off where you got little raisin. And uh, I'll, I'm going to paint acrylic on the side and then, uh, yeah, and I'll be ready. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.